and the number one day, which is one of the few maps of the world that in the And it should be made known, as should be, this is the star of Davis, it's on the wall, made of various the same size, and uh, if you go to uh, Washington, the White House, that is a replica of Leicester House, and over was the Arctic there. And this was on the blueprint of those two five street cars, without the streets that were on the arc of the continent, which were over the four courts with the streets and two of most of the five streets. And it's the shot of it, nobody teaches them to it. And that's the stop. And between now and Easter, I'm asking everybody to ask your local politicians and to ask the judges and the courts where are they getting their sovereignty from? Is their own to the is it to the uh, free state that was imposed by King George V of the British government to pay for Britain's war debts and war pensions? Or is it the sovereign of any government by the rule and wish of all the people of the 32 counties? Be democratically elected? And uh, there's one huge, uh, that's uh, a democratically elected sovereign government. And the free state have to come out and tell us uh, which is they are always pretending and pretending to stall air. And you heard RTE come out and say, Ireland's first government. That isn't Ireland's first government. The Ireland's first government is the 21st of January 1919 by the will and wish of all the people. We don't want any violence. And we want a dignified commemoration for those great Irish volunteers and citizens' army, and those people who went out and gave their lives for us today. And what we have is unique. And for our people, 70 million people worldwide, and they should be respected. And I'm asking everyone today to enjoy your Independence Day, and thank you very much for your support. And with the help of God, uh, it's very important that we sort out the 11.55, that conflict with the Vatican and with the, and with the Crown of England, and sort out the 1918-32 country election, democratically elected by the women of this war. There's one other point that I would like to bring up, and that is the free state was by, uh, uh, under the threat of immediate and terrible war. You could trace that immediate and terrible war back to 1155 and the annihilation of the people by Henry II right up to Henry VIII and Cromwell and his son in law Arthur. That was a very real threat uh, that, the, the, that was, uh, they were told. And they took that, they understood what it meant. And I would wish you a very happy year and hopefully things will improve and that we get our sovereignty. We have our sovereign daughter government, you have to have that. We have our tri-color flag, we have our two five straight halves around the Ark of the Covenant. We have all that knowledge, and if you went to BillyMcGuire.com, everybody has had to put that up there and keep the light. That's all I was able to do since 1950, when I was in keep that alive. That's all I can do. And I've done it for you and your children. And that's what I hope that you hate that you be respected. And I would like to thank you very much for all your support. I'm doing it for you and your children, as Billy says. <laughs>